Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be another short little project share using some more of my um, dies from the February release from Scrap Diva Designs. So um, a couple of these I've already made, but I've made a different one and just wanted to show you again. Um, you know, a different version and different decorations, all that kind of fun stuff. So anyway, let me show you first off this one, which is called Gift Card Gift Box. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Um, prior, I had made I've made a couple more. I only have one left. I sent another one off, but um, this is the one that I made prior um, Valentine's Day, and the and this has the insert for the gift card, so has room down here to put more stuff. I put a couple of these layered up uh, fringe butterflies. And then as you open this up, the, this pops up and the card pops up too. So I've made that before a couple times, but I made another one and this one I didn't um, put the pop-up thing inside. I just made it the regular box without that. So you can do it either way. You can put it with the card pop-up or without. You can just make it like a regular box if you want to. So this was just a regular box that I've decorated. I'm using uh, Maggie Holmes Parasol collection. I thought it was a pretty spring collection. So I used a lot of the, you know, pieces from the collection, chipboard and, <coughs> you know, um, ephemera pieces and stickers, all kinds of stuff on to decorate. And then I also used this other die, which is from the February release also, which is called the Fringed Butterfly Large. So I used one of them to decorate. I made two, so here's the other one. Love this die also. So this is the large one. It also comes in the small. Um, let me see. Oh yeah, here's something I made previous with the small. So there's a small compared to the large, okay? Love them both. <laughs> They're both must-haves in your stash. So um, anyway, and then I um, I used a bow from another. Um, I think this comes with. It might come with this. Does this one come with the bow? Yes, it does. It does come with the bow. So this set does come with the bow. The box, gift card, gift box does come with the bow. That's the bow <clears throat> that I've added on top of the fringe butterfly. So these are so adorable. I love them both. So I just wanted to share those with you. It's a little bit different than my other, you know, Valentine ones that I had done previously. So obviously you could use this year round. So I love those. Okay, and then next I wanted to show you another one. Um, I made this one already also and I shared it. Let's see, do I still have it? Yeah. Okay, so I made this previously. This is the coin purse die set. Uh, yeah, it's just called coin purse. Okay, so I made this one a Valentine's. I used the um, bag maker on this from one of um, Scrap Diva's previous releases. So I used the bag maker to make this, you know, three dimensional. It has a, um, you know, Velcro in there so you can open it up, put stuff in it. And I used some of this chain that I got from um, BB Craft in a, a collab with them. Love that. So that was kind of my little um, Valentine edition. Um, but I made another one. This one is an Easter one. My thing got turned around. So this one I made a little Easter one for Rosalind. She, as soon as she saw the first one, she's like, I want one, Grammy. So I made this one an Easter one and I made it using the box die. So for this one, we've got the coin purse die set. And then we also made it a box by using the box making strips. Love these two, must have also. Okay. So what I decided to do was make it a, kind of like a little Easter basket. And then when I put some stuff in it, then, um, you know, she can carry it around and play with it when she's done. So. Um, I just simply decorated it because it'll probably get <laughs> all damaged anyway. I used this kind of uh, gold, like, uh, 
what do we call it, like this gold shiny ball trim. And I just punched a hole on each side and pushed one of the balls through. Um, I put a whole reinforcer around, so, you know, just give it a little bit more stability. And then I put some hot glue around it just because, you know, she's going to be swinging this around and jerking on it and that kind of stuff. So, anyway, I just, you know, just put very simply decorated it. This is a cute little clip that I found at Walmart the other day. It's a cute little bunny clip. It's, it's basically, a, it's really a hair clip, but how cute is that? And it came in a pack with different colors. So anyway, I just clipped that on there too, just for a little bit of decoration. I stuck in a pick here in the back, just to, you know, give it a little bit of look for her. And then I put a bunch of, um, you know, shred down in there. And then I, I just put a couple of empty, these are little unicorn eggs that I had got for her last year. Here's the back. I just cut out one of the pictures. I thought she would like that with the little bunny on the back. So that's the back side of it. And then inside this one, I cut out a whole bunch of the little coins. <laughs> so the coin purse comes with the five cent, 10 cent and 25 cent um, coins. So I cut those all out of, I cut a bunch of them out of the gold glitter foil and then I have them front and back. So it's it looks more like a little coin for her and I shot, thought she would like that. So I put some in the little egg like we do when we do um, egg hunts and stuff we put like you know, change in some of the, in some of the eggs for them to find along with candy and stuff. So I just thought that was cute. So I think she'll love that. So anyway, this is the box strip that makes the box. And so I just lined it up here on the bottom and then curved up the edges around the, around the um, sides. So in the one I used, I used the long one because it has two long ones and two short ones. And I used the thinner of the long one. There's two different sizes in both the short and the long. So I used the, the thinner one of the long one. As compared to this one that I made before, this one's using the bag maker. So this one just, and the reason I use this is because I wanted it to like come together up here at the top. Rather than staying open like this one, like a box, I wanted this one to come together and I figured with the bag maker, I could, you know, it could be pinched closed and stay closed that way. So, you know, you could do it either way. Either, both of them work really well for that kind of thing. So, and 110 pound cardstock is what I used um, on these. What's I, what I always use is my base, and then, you know, it's got a layer of um, uh, pattern paper on top, so it's it's really thick and sturdy, you know. This is 110 pound in here. I didn't cover this with pattern paper, because I figured, you know, Rosalind's not gonna care. <laughs> so. If I was sending it out in a swap or something, I would have covered it and do another layer. And I've done that before um, on another project. And I just, um, what I do is um, cut this out again out of pattern paper. And then I just trim off the, um, you know, these little folded pieces that go around to make you think. I just trim it off right along here, right along the edge. And then just layer that on top if I want to cover it with pattern paper. So that's how I did that. So I just thought I'd share that with you real quickly, how easy and it's super easy and fast. So anyway, I just want to share that with you um, real quickly and I don't know, let me know what you think. I think they turned out really cute. Um, so I want to share this with you because um, guess what? Got the new release. So I'm working on some new projects. I'll be sharing that with you as soon as I'm able to. Um, be starting on the 23rd, I believe, is when we start sharing, um, you know, unboxing and showing sneak peeks. So get ready for that. It's a fun release. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll have website, um, affiliate link, discount code, and links to the dies that I used all below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.